Hello everyone, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense, and today we are going to install this uh, Huxworks OSS, I think they changed the name from OSS to Huxworks, flash hider on a rifle. Uh, now before we get to the installation real quick, I have noticed that on videos like these, people always want to get really pedantic about the exact torque spec and the exact angles and doing it proper and this way and the other thing. In general, let me just tell you, if it seats, it yeets. And what I mean is, we're gonna put it on the best we can to the directions that we are able with the tools we have, and it'll be fine. Uh, everyone wants to get real bent out of shape about little esoteric knowledge about little mechanical things that in general, honestly, don't make that big of a difference when you're actually using and shooting the rifle. So, with that as our preamble, here we go. Now you're gonna to wanna to be sure to clamp your rifle down here to something that's stable. In this case, I'm just using some kind of makeshift table. Uh, also, of course, make sure the gun's unloaded because that's important. For this particular install, it does come with this little installation card. Now, I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to read that or not, but basically this card says, uh, thread it onto the barrel using an adjustable wrench, index the flats in the muzzle, Torque to approximately 30 foot pounds or 20 degree turn after hand tight. You don't need to use any shims. I do have a torque wrench, however, I do not have one large enough to fit this. This is about an inch and a quarter and I don't have a socket deep enough or large enough to actually fit this. So again, we're just gonna kinda go best we can 20 degrees past hand tight. So the first thing you have to do is uninstall the A2. So that's pretty simple. You're just going to adjust your wrench to the proper, si proper size and torque it off. You're gonna remove the actual A2 flash hider, which is a great flash hider, by the way, and the crush washer. You're not gonna need the crush washer for this installation. Set those aside, save those because you might wanna put those on some other rifle later. At this point, if you need to do any cleaning, you can go ahead and clean this off with like alcohol swabs or whatever. I can't tell if you can tell from there. However, this is pretty clean as it stands. So we're just gonna put some rock set on there. Uh, a big fan of rock set for any kind of device mounted with suppressor. Otherwise, I've twisted off several when I haven't used rock set. So we're gonna put some rock set on here. If you have a Q-tip or something to spread it around, so much the better. I just gob some on there, spread it around with a napkin or something, and then go ahead and twist it on. Okay, after I have a good amount of rock set on there, I'm gonna twist this on to hand tight. Okay, that's hand tight. And now I will adjust my wrench to about an inch and a quarter is about how big this thing is. Okay, and now I'm gonna try to go about 20 degrees past where I got it. That was roughly 20 degrees. And that's it, you're done. Let the rock set set for 24 hours before you go doing the pew pews. But other than that, it should work just fine. Hope that's helpful. Sorry for all the armorer boys that I just made mad. Do brave deeds and endure. Mm -hmm.